welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print student course. In this lesson, we'll be covering complex number arithmetic. Notice that the key there with pi, e and i is the key that we will use to access complex number i. To access the complex menu, we can press second and then that multi-tap key and that will allow us to see the various complex number tools and commands in that menu. The other important thing is to check our mode. We press mode and down in row four, we can see three possibilities. We can work in real mode, in A plus BI, which is rectangular or Cartesian form, or we can work in R theta form, which is polar form. For this short lesson, we will be working in real mode. So we press second mode and to quit out of that, go back to the home screen. And we're now going to perform a simple complex number calculation. We're going to calculate the sum of two minus three i and one plus four i. So what we're going to do is with uh, an open bracket, which we don't need, but um, for completeness, we're going to have two minus three. We don't need to use the multiplication key. To access i, we press this multi-tap key and it toggles through pi, e and then i. Press the close bracket plus open bracket one plus four and then our multi-tap key to access i. Close bracket, press enter. We can see there that we add the real parts and we add the, the uh, imaginary parts and so the sum of those two complex numbers is three plus i. If we wanted to uh, verify that the complex conjugate of that complex number is three minus i, what we can do is we can press second and then the pi ei key. This accesses the complex uh, number menu. And if we scroll down to number six, we can see the command conjugate where we can now press enter, which pastes that command onto the entry line. We can then um, press arrow up to highlight three plus I. We can press enter to bring it down to the current entry line. Press the closing bracket key, press enter. And we see there that the complex conjugate is indeed three minus I. In an earlier lesson in this series, you will have learned how to store recall and work with defined variables. So what we're going to do now is we're going to store two minus three i as uh, a, and we're going to store one plus four i as b, and then perform three calculations involving those stored complex numbers. So let's first of all, uh, store the two. So what we're going to do is I'm going to type two minus three i, press the store key, and then the button above is the variable key, and we just press it one at a time until we get to a, and press enter. So a is now complex number two minus three i. We will now do the same thing for one plus four i and store it as b. One plus four using the multi-tap key there for I, then the store key. So up comes an arrow. Then we press our variable key just one at a time there until we get to B and press enter. Now what we can do is we can calculate, for example, the product AB. So if we press our variable key one at a time until we get to A, multiply by, press the variable key again one at a time until we get to B, press enter. And that's showing us that the product of the two complex numbers is 14 plus 5i. Let's now do A divided by B. 
press the fraction template, press the variable key one at a time until we access A, press down arrow to get to the denominator box, press the variable key one at a time until we get to B, press enter, and that is the result for A divided by B. And finally, we can show how to take a complex number A and raise it to the power of three, for example. So again, press the variable key to access A, then press our X to the power button. We see a superscript there appear, press three, press enter, and that's showing us that uh, A cubed is equal to minus 46 minus 9i. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.